the grand end-of-the-century Great Exhibition of London. Surely there is not a soul who has failed to hear of it. Wondrous new works of culture and industry from every corner of the globe had converged on Hyde Park, welcoming over 50 million visitors. The last great hurrah of this century. Astonished and delighted people of all nations and ended on a note of resounding success. But as regards to the terrible catastrophe that occurred during the festivities, very few were aware my friend Mr. Herlock Sholmes had a hand in unraveling the matter. For from the shadows, it was he who earnestly unearthed the facts of the case. And like the centerpiece of the great exhibition, which rose high into the skies of Hyde Park, Sholmes's brilliant deductions as clear and lofty as the Crystal Tower itself brought the truth to light. We're here at the showground of the Great Exhibition, which is absolutely packed with people. The weather is unusually fine, and we're about to witness a most extraordinary scientific experiment. Ladies and gentlemen, the 20th century will see steam engines and electrical power dominate the world. Horse-drawn carts will give way to the motor car. Ships will sprout wings and take to the skies. And today, we showcase even more advanced technology. A glimpse into the future. A world first. A demonstration of my super high voltage instantaneous kinesis machine. A man will literally be disassembled by a pulse of high voltage electricity and beamed to another location. Whereupon his body will be reassembled by a series of complex calculations exactly as it was before. from now. These gentlemen will, in the blink of an eye, complete an incredible journey through the air to arrive an instant later on the Crystal Tower behind you!